Welcome to Fire Engineering's Training Minutes. I'm Mark Gregory along with Ray Griffin and Jimmy Adams. Today we're going to discuss the pros and cons of different extrication tools that we have for uh, removing an impaled object from a person. I'm going to take this simple piece of rebar and I'm going to place it behind my leg. Ray is going to demonstrate how the different tools that we as rescuers would pick, how they will affect the object as we're trying to remove it. Ray? First tool Ray's going to go with here is going to be the uh, hydraulic cutter. As you can see, it cut through the rebar pretty quick, but the reason I like to put it behind my legs, again, is to show fellow trainers how you, with every action, you're going to have a reaction. You can see as he cut through the motion. If the motion's happening inside the body, it can cause further damage. You can also see that it left a semi-sharp edge that, again, as they're removing this object from the person, could become a problem. Next commonly placed tool that we might want to use would be the sawzall, also known as the reciprocating saw. A smoother cut, but a lot more vibration. And that vibration, again, could cause further injury to our victim. Our tool of preference that we like to use is the bandsaw. Ray's gonna come in, he's gonna make the cut with the bandsaw, he's gonna be resting the guard right up against the work, and you'll notice we're going to get a smooth cut, we're not gonna have any heat transfer, and it's gonna make it a lot more comfortable on the victim in the removal process. Ray? As you can see, there was very minimal movement as we were performing the cuts. So again, we do have different tools to do the job, know the benefits of each tool that we carry on the rig, and also know the downfalls that those tools may also have. I'm Mark Gregory, along with Ray Griffin and Jim Adams. And thank you for watching Fire Engineering's Training Minutes.